you are watching Tejas Tech channel. Now we are having a group discussion on module 5 phase modulation. Sincere thanks to Devin Sarajo the Engineering College. Topic phase modulation. Now, first of all, we will we'll discuss about the graph on the right side. So what is phase modulation? Phase modulation is defined as a process by which changing the phase of the carrier signal in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal. Amplitude and frequency remains constant after the modulation process. Upon carrier signal the phase matter in response to the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal. Message signal and amplitude change in such a carrier signal and the phase no matter method. Either car now shall carrier signal and the amplitude of frequency of Marvilla. Modulation process the amplitude of frequency of Marvilla Marvilla. My modulating signal and amplitude will be phased to the shift. The greater the amplitude of the modulating signal, the greater the phase shifts. Here the positive alternations of the modulating signal produces a lagging phase and the negative signal produces a leading phase shift. As we can see from the graph given on the right side. Okay. As the modulating signal goes positive, the phase lag increases with amplitude of the modulating signal. See, here it goes positive, here the phase lagging occurs. When there was no modulating signal, the no phase change was happening. When, when this amplitude goes positive, carrier stretching occurs which leads to phase lag. Now, when the negative amplitude comes, uh, what happens is that the carrier compression occurs and phase lag appears. The graph is voltage versus time. Next, mathematical representation of phase modulation. We can see it from the top. This is the first expression on the top is EM of T is equal to EM cos omega of T. That shows modulating signal expression. Expression for modulating signal. Now the second expression EC of T is equal to EC sine omega CT plus theta. This represents a carrier signal. Theta is the phase angle of the carrier signal. Phase angle is changed in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal, EM of T. So we can derive an expression theta is proportional to EM of T. So theta is equal to a constant K into EM of T. Theta is equal to K EM cos omega MT. Since EM of T is EM cos omega MT. Now substitute the third expression in first expression. Sorry, third and third and second expression we will get EPM of T which is equal to EPM that is phase modulated wave expression for phase modulated wave is given as EC sin omega CT plus KME KEM cos omega MT all within a bracket so EC sin omega CT plus MP cos omega MT KEM is equal to MP modulation index of the wave of phase modulation now therefore Phase modulation expression is given by EPM is equal to EC sin omega CT plus MP cos omega MT. Now, EPM is equal to EC sin omega CT plus MP cos omega MT is expression for phase modulation. Okay. Now, if X of T is the baseband signal, EPM it can be given as EC sin omega CT plus MP X of T. Considering that as the first equation, now we know that the expression for FM signal is CFM is equal to EC sine omega CT plus MF sine omega MT. Since it is sine omega MT, we can write it as EFM is equal to EC sine omega CT plus MF integral 0 to T x of T dt. From those two expressions, we can say that phase modulation and 
frequency modulation are related closely related to each other in both cases there is a variation in the total phase angle in phase modulation the phase angle varies linearly with baseband signal x of t whereas in the case of frequency modulation the phase angle varies linearly with the integral of baseband signal x of t this means that fm may be obtained by using pm on the other hand pm may be obtained from by using fm so that's about the part 1 now for continuity we'll deal with in part 2 thank you